Okay, welcome to the uh, commentary on Shitty Quest, like a sort of director's DVD commentary little thing, except we're not directors and this isn't a DVD. And I'm joined by my co-creator on this game, Pac Billy. Yes, and you've just heard my very first um, contribution to... Indeed. Or the first thing you heard was, was my composition, which took months <laughs> and months of, 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 a back of and learning forth how... And, yeah. Yeah. No, that was, that was, I just, that was shittier than any of the other content that, see, you start them off with the shittiest thing, which is that little jingle. And then from, from then on, they're just amazed by comparison at every at all the other bits of content. Like, for instance, this wonderfully animated title screen, which right. also took months and months. Yeah, just coming to, up, uh, coming up with the design of the twig alone. Yeah, um, yeah, which is a very important item in this game. And, uh, and hiring, hiring the the most expensive models to pose in these poses <laughs> right here. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, they couldn't <laughs> be with us today because uh, because of. Uh, Cause personal commitments but yeah yeah like, to non-existence yeah <laughs> <laughs> they committed to non-existing yeah no so, the axe model was the most expensive right axe models human models you can get for a couple of grand but axe models are are prima donna yeah and unfortunately the axe is now pregnant and cannot uh yeah, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a reference to the original to the, trailer to, to the trailer which was uh created by which, pack billy uh, yeah, which, we, we won't we won't even talk about the trailer. Well, you can. Trailer, I'll, put, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, and yeah, but with the with the note that says brilliant. don't click this. Yeah. No, it was brilliant. You know it was. Um, <laughs> don't know it was. It fucking was. Uh, anyway, Shitty Quest was uh, basically it started as a test of the AGS game engine, the Adventure Game Studio, which I used to make this and. Uh, I, I made like a, basically the first two rooms you'll see, and um, I showed it to Pac Billy, and he was like, "This is brilliant." You, well, you you, you I tell loved me, it. you loved it, and I, he, this was before there was any dialogue, and it was even rougher than it is now. Well, there was dialogue; it just wasn't voice. Uh, no voice dialogue, yeah. Right, um, but it, from the very first instance of the game, I was I was enchanted, and I knew he had something wonderful on his hands. Yeah, and I um, had no idea. Roughly so... hewn, though it may have been. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I. So uh, and then he pressed on and on, and uh, this is what eventually became of it. Right. So should we jump in and? Uh... I think we should. New game, because we can't load a game. Wow, this that. looks like shit. And that's uh, that was the first. I remember you did a sort of. Uh... Uh, you did a, a video recording yourself of you first playing the game, and I still have it. It's just you saying, well, this looks like shit, and you immediately start laughing. There wasn't this uh, <laughs> tooltip thing, which just tells you how to play, but we know how to play. So it's a, it's a standard point-and-click uh, adventure game, and as you can see, it looks, well, it looks like shit. <laughs> um, and I literally drew this in five minutes, just because I wanted to see how the interface worked, you know, to draw the rooms and to have the boundaries and stuff, like you can't walk through the wall, um, and uh, you can interact with objects. It's a shitty painting of something shit, you know, and it's just... Uh... But it very charmingly looks like shit, I, I have to say, <laughs> it's well, what it you... really, the level of, of detail, which is a very low level of detail, mm -hmm. um, also it detail. really... You say detail yeah. in the UK? Yeah. The level of detail. I think sometimes I say detail. <laughs> um, like, I'm, I've got to go get my car detailed. Anyway, right. um, the level of detail it's is... It's a verb, uh, not a noun. Detail. ...is low, uh, but it leaves a lot of room for your imagination. And But it's very charming, though. It's very charming. The, the way that you've drawn the, the character and the painting and... And just the way, I mean, it's it's just it's just soaked in charm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, but what do you think this is a painting of? What does it look like to you? Uh, to me, Between there's a tree. There's um, uh, next to the tree. There's two people being sucked up by one of those Defender alien ships that you have to shoot <laughs> down. A sun, it's... a duck, um, somebody, like left a stilt but like they they use stilts and they they left one behind and the duck's about to hit it 
This, you have an and extremely the, active imagination. And then a cloud. <laughs> of course, a cloud, yeah. yeah. And that, that, that I, I took like 15 seconds to draw that. <laughs> it was. Uh, what is it? What is it? Just uh, give us. A well, tour that of was a tree, and everything else are yeah? just scribbles. <laughs> so you, okay. All so the the cloud and the sun and the duck and the. It's all stilt. in your head, man. It's just uh, like it's it's modern art, you know. It's 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 what you make of it. Should we uh, should we go and meet your character? Let's go to room two, which existed in the Holy in shit. the version I. A dead body. How many dead bodies do you know that sit with their hands behind their head? Well, none so far but you do look quite inactive. And you smell. That, my good man, is the smell of unbridled uselessness. Now, I have to give you credit for a lot of the dialogue, especially for the lazy guy, because uh, the, much of it was similar, but uh, you, you, you really helped flesh out the character and, uh, and of course, provide his voice. Uh, well, that... Um... Unbridled uselessness line. Exactly. Um, I don't know. That, was yours. that just seemed to be the best thing for him to say. Yeah. And someone in a comment on one of the videos um, actually correctly attributed his inspiration to Monkey Island. I, not Monkey Island, I'm sorry, Day of the Tentacle, ah. which um, I don't know which character it was. But um, there was a character that was very nonchalant, and I haven't played it in ages. I just remember him being just sort of nothing phased him. And when I saw the lazy guy, um, and you first interact without any voice or whatever, that immediately is what what I latched on to. I just remembered that character from... Um, from Day of the Tentacle. I still don't know which character it is. It was is it, just is it some... one of the main characters? No, no. It was it was somebody that you meet. It was right. a it was an NPC in the game and I I would have to go back and play it again. I yeah. I, I don't think I've messed with it in years. Yeah, certainly worth but... playing through again. A great uh, point and click adventure game. Thanks for uh, drawing attention to, to 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 a great. So it's like let's not invite that comparison <laughs> oh right right no, no, it's right fine. well i mean it's, it's yeah you know, know if you gotta steal steal from the best right and in this case i i didn't um but yeah so <laughs> like and and this this room also i drew very quickly and including this character basically because i was testing out the engine and i wanted to see how to have a character and an item you can pick up which is this axe and that was it. I had no, I had no idea where this was going to go. This was a completely, just a, a shitty test of a game, and well, you're you're going to see what it turns into. But um, anyway, we need this axe, and uh, it looks shitty, but it is sharp and heavy. It's an axe, by the way. At least I think it is. Yeah, a little reference to the fact that the <laughs> graphics are really hard to tell what's what's even <laughs> here sometimes. My first inventory item is a potential murder weapon. Wicked. This is a okay little tooltip. So it, I went with the sort of uh, inventory system I I liked from Beneath the Steel Sky, which is very simple. And we had some arguments about the the uh, the control system, didn't we? I was like, no, with left click, click should be... yeah, yeah. And uh, people still I, and get it, confused by it. So there's just people no... still get confused. Um, I was confused by the initial thing, and I think I convinced you to change it. Yeah. Change it, and well, I've since. But seeing other people play it, um, <laughs> some people get confused and some people... Well, it's, it's left-click to look, right-click to use. Right. It's, it's because people have got used to certain systems in different games, like in Beneath the Sky, it's right-click to select, left-click to use, which is confusing. And ah. Anyway, should we have a chat to your, to your character here, lazy guy? Sure, sure. Okay, so here we see the dialogue options, and again, this was just... Most of it just come up with, just for the sake of testing things. Who are you? I don't have a name. So what does the designer call you? Lazy. What a hypocrite. And that that was basically the first time I thought of that name. Like, what does he call you? He calls me Lazy. That's just a gag. Um, but apparently that's his name. His name is Lazy. Uh, but you'll, uh, um, I, I, if you haven't played this game, I suggest you play it through first and then watch this, because we're probably going to give some spoilers. Yeah. Um, we definitely should have said that from the beginning. Yeah. If you haven't, just stop this video right now. 
because we've spoiled Go make so much to already. You know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and 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 download it from JimMakesGames.com. Flash that up on the screen while I'm Indeed. saying it. <laughs> and then uh, come back and finish it. Pause this. Download the thing. Come back and finish it. Yeah. And uh, if and now you're back with us. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome uh, wasn't back. it fun? Yeah. Yep. It was, yeah. And. Uh, yeah, and again, all this dialogue, uh, this place looks so shitty. I don't know, I think it serves its purpose quite well. And what purpose is that? To have a place to sit down with your hands behind your head. That's it. As far as you know. There's a little uh, reference which I believe you suggested, um, and it kind of alludes to the fact that this character knows more about what's going on than he's letting on. Which um, will be revealed, I guess, later in the... Definitely. Again, go play it, and then... Um, well, we've already told them to go play it. Go play it again. Yeah, but I don't think they were listening that first time. I don't right. think they were listening. Right. Now, really go play it. Yeah. I know you were just patronizing us the first time, and you <laughs> you went off and you did something else. You you made some tea, or you masturbated or something, but now really go play it. Uh, yeah. And I'd also just like to point out um, that this is a room... <laughs> With, with an axe that for some reason needs to be um, featured on the wall. Yeah, and a guy just sitting there yeah. with his hands behind yeah. his head. It's uh, yeah, the axe is the more important thing in the room. This is the thing to be uh, to be loved on these on these nondescript like I don't know what they <laughs> these are nondescript axe holders. Yeah, like I imagine them being some kind of like 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 just. A thing you hold an axe in, you know, like mounts. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, axe mounts. Yeah, axe we mounts. All, we've all got them. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you keep your axe? <laughs> Others in the comments. <laughs> yeah. But this guy then, doesn't even get a but chair. Then the guy, just no chair. Just, yeah. So what do you want to do with this room? Well, yeah. I see an axe right here, and maybe, maybe. Oh, you think maybe a couch? Right? No, no, no. Just an axe right <laughs> here. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, I'm no, sorry. If, if this guy had a couch, he'd never get up. So, you know, yeah, we right. need him to. Yeah, he must be so uncomfortable. Like, at this angle, there's so much pressure on his back. You can break <laughs> his spine just by stepping on his it. chest. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like breaking a board. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, speaking of this use, this guy, let's uh, ask him if he's going to be of any use. Are you going to be of any use? Well, I have a useful object, but I want something in return. Like what? Something that reminds me of myself. Hmm. That's your first big clue, ladies and gentlemen. Your first clue to the solution of the, like, an axe doesn't remind him of himself, so. Well, the thing is, uh, we're emphasizing his laziness, and if I was to write this over again, I think I'd emphasize more his uselessness. Yeah, because, it, well, he, and his... You don't need to give him something lazy, you need to give him something useless. Right. He's and, introduced and as le intru as useless, but you don't hear that twice, so you're left... Right, and you with... do hear lazy more often. Yeah. But it's not like people are going to... I don't think... You know, I've seen a few playthroughs, and I, I think most people figure out what you're supposed to do yeah. relatively quickly. There aren't many options, though, anyway. So it's... Yeah, really. There's yeah. there's not a whole lot of... Yeah, yeah it's really a very simple game. Anyway, let's... Uh... I am bored of this conversation. Ugh, I'm bored of this conversation. Well, I found it riveting. And that was uh, that was one of your lines, I believe. Oh, was that one of mine? Yeah, I think so. So he's useless right now because we have only a useful item, which is this axe. Um, and if you click on it, hopefully this axe will have some use that isn't shitty. It implies it has a use, so it's not something you can give to him. But you can't try to give it to him. Or... Uh, Cut not that necessarily out. give it to Sorry. him. Sorry. By the way, do you want this axe? No, it's too useful. Makes me uncomfortable. There, see, that's the clue. Uh, when you tell him, when you ask him if you want, obviously you try to hit him with it, because I assume that's what... Um, you try to murder him. Yeah. Like <laughs> Immediately. To, you think you're trying to give it to him? You're, you're so easily <laughs> dissuaded from murdering the yeah, lazy stop guy. it, yeah. <laughs> Cut that. Sorry. Cut yeah. that out. Yeah. Uh, Right, and, and so not left with many options because this door is locked. How shitty. And you can see I'm playing up the shitty theme uh, quite heavily in the beginning. And, uh, yeah, let's make our escape. Bollocks to keys. And that was pretty much as far as the uh, 
as sort of the version I showed to, to Pac Billy goes. And uh, let's go outside. <laughs> 